Hello everyone, welcome to How to Draw Your Dragon. In this episode we're going to see how to draw horns in dragons. So as you can see I already made a sketch of a dragon head and he has specific um, horns. These are long and pointy. He has them in his chin as well, here. And well, in his head and everything is just like an example of what you can do with your dragon. So there are many kinds of horns in the animal kingdom and they work for different things. For example, as you can see, I don't know, this one could probably use this to fight against other dragons and stab them. Or you could create different kinds of horns, like this. I'm going to duplicate this one. Sorry. Ta-da! So we have a, a double dragon. So for example, if we want our dragon to be a defensive kind of, of dragon, we could make these horns bigger and curved. And the reason for making them like this is because he could fight and headbutt another dragon. He could go ahead, run against him and smash him. He could probably fight. So that will be an idea for a defensive kind of dragon. And you can also erase any other bits and pieces you don't find useful in the dragon. And these are not spikes, but they're the, the horns. When we learn about tails, we can learn about tail spikes. For now, we're just focusing on the head, probably the neck. We're gonna see different kinds of horns and why they work, and such. So now that you see these, these horns, oh, I'm gonna erase this. And we're gonna try a different style of horns. This time, we can probably make Slender horns, curved and slender horns. And this could be like antlers or something. You can make them like reindeer horns. Have you seen the all the oriental dragons? They have horns like this, like deer. like an ancient dragon, a Chinese dragon. And they have like the ears and such. And these horns probably even go like this, rounding the head. And they're beautiful horns in natural uh, settings. So you can Google I don't know, a deer or a moose, like I said in the last episode. You can grab some very, very cool ideas from animals and add them to your designs. So, there is a hard, the, the easy part of drawing this is that when you draw them on the side, they're quite simple to draw. Like, you don't need to, to make a different angle for them, but I would recommend for you to actually do try to have different angles in your drawings and for that you can grab pictures of the internet and reference as I always say for example this one this time we're not going to draw on top of it we're going to uh, make our own dragon head just picture the head of your dragon looking this way So if you still struggle with the heads, don't worry about um, trying to get every detail in the sketch. It's just so you can see what I'm doing and try to, to copy or learn what you're doing by yourself. We don't even have to draw the same angle of the neck. It's just so you get a, a reference, right? So as you can see, this animal has a pair of twisted horns and they go up. And I'm going to move this one. Down so we can 
So you can draw the ears on your dragon if you want, if you don't. Doesn't matter. So here it goes. Like you can copy the overall shape. And of course, when you're drawing horns, you have to have in mind that they do have to go somewhere on the head that makes sense. For example, I drew this a little way off to the edge, and as you can see, this one has it here. And you can draw it here to the eyes. This animal is a herbivore, so his eyes are on the side. A dragon would probably have his eyes more in front, like this. So it's not a perfect sketch, but you can see the, the idea. So, this this is not an exact replica of this horn, but I'm trying to like make a point. For example, mine bends here, mine goes like this. So you can have like the horns like this. You remember, an, a reference is not to copy it exactly as it is, because it will cause frustration for you. But you can, for example, bend it, bend it to your will. Try to do that. This animal horns go like this instead of what I did. But as you see, it's a reference, you can have your freedom and not stress too much about it. So this is what I have done. Yeah, with this one. So I'll leave this here until I find a different animal. For example, this time we have a different um, set of horns in this. He is a defensive animal as well, he's going to fight. You can make a bigger set of, of animal. Like this, this dragon can be. Just laying down. You don't need to make the same pose. But think of the horns, as I told you, in terms of like why they would use them. This one, as you can see, his other horn is not perfectly in line with this one. It bends a little, so you can see on the back. So they are big horns, but his body and his neck are made to support it. So make sure your dragon has a thick neck, not a, a thin neck like this, because that would not work. His head will fall. So that's different examples and of course if you can reference different animals you can reference different angles and or there's really no like no negative uh, way to draw a horse you can do well, many things really and he goes a different uh, reference and I'm going to find a different one a different set of horns that also works I'm sorry if they're pixelated I'm grabbing them as I go Frontal view. The hardest view. You can draw your dragon head and figure like this one. This one has a, a thick head, like a square, like a box. So your dragon must have a thick head to actually support a horn like this. like funny hair, like a wig. It's hilarious. Yes, his hair is like this. So try to make a thick neck for your dragon. He could have scales. Or whatnot. He's a big hunted dragon. This one, for example, would have one. Remember to make their eyes not here, but probably Trying to make the head. I'm taking too long making a head, and this looks weird. <sighs> so this one has them here. Try to to think about the placement of the horns first before you just dab them anywhere. 
So if it goes like this, it just doesn't work. If you, if you make it here, it doesn't work. So you have to see the shape. Try to figure the shapes first. Like you have your animal here looking this way, the nose and the mouth. Well, try to figure a circle, like semicircle. And this one looks more like a, a box, like a weird rectangle. Try to figure it like um, a shape. And when you start drawing, you'll see the shapes here. It's like a, a rectangle. And you have like a box and this twists into a triangle. Like try to play with shapes. I know this is a little hairy. I'm sorry. I'm rushing. The board, the board. But you'll see like the different kinds of horns, they work for different things, and mostly herbivores have them because they need them for the fence. And your dragon will have it because either it's defense or attack. But it still looks incredible in a dragon. Horns cannot be missed. If you miss a horn in a dragon, he would still look cool, but he wouldn't be as cool as this one. And there are horn missers. And let's do look one of those. They're beautiful. And there are horn snakes as well. I really admire those animals. I don't know why they look so brave. So small, but they're still so, so cool. So I'm gonna make a different, like this is a horn this time. And as you can see, he doesn't have like big horns or I don't know, super big thing here or super thing here. Oh, he's not that big. But he has so many spikes here. Spike, 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 you see? That's the fence as well, but he's a tiny animal and it's close to a dragon. And we can have a, a horned snake, I'm not sure that's the name, so I'll look for it first. You'll see how cute they look. They're still so... well, they're dangerous. They're still cute, I think. So, here's a horn. As you can see, he has the horns on top of his eyes. So this is his face, his tiny, teeny, cute eyes. And he's like, why are you looking at? Huh? Why are you looking at? But he has the horns here. Imagine making a dragon like that with horns like that, like toothless. Uh, have you seen the How to Train Your Dragon? Well, he doesn't really have horns, but he has like uh, these things. Yeah. So you get what I mean. He has the same kinds of uh, of horns. I'm not sure. He has them like this. But... So it's like, look at that. They're cousins. They're, they're cousins. See, he has spikes here, and he has spikes on his back. And that's the thing with horns. They give personality to your character. So if you want a cute dragon, try not making terrifying horns, make them sweet looking, or a rounded, like like this, like a rounded horn. The smallest the horn and the bigger bigger the, the face, your dragon will look so cute. And for example, if you just make them super spiky and big, your dragon will look more threatening. Same one for dinosaurs, for example, the big plates were for defense. Well, the horns, like the Triceratops, they were also for defense, but it looks so mean. It's a different kind of awesomeness. For example, these little tiny lizards have such an incredible design. So that's like the simplified version of, of drawing horns. And there's also so many other things you can do as different shapes. So we're gonna try different shapes. Remember our first dragon? Let me find him. Yeah, here he is. We're gonna try to edit these horns. This one. Okay. So we're gonna try to edit his horns. First I'm gonna duplicate him because he's gonna be lost. So try different types of horns. Don't be well terrified by the idea of not knowing how. Because sometimes in nature you won't find horns that look like this. Like, you won't find this strange formation 
overworn. Or maybe you will. I don't know, nature is kind of magnified when you Google and search things in books. So for example, something like this might be an interesting shape of the horn. You can add bases, add different colors, different shapes. There's an, some, something else, I'll erase this. So if you want it, just, just pause the video and steal it from there. There's also, for example, the horns that go all like this, mostly. And remember something important I told you in the heads video? Don't ever connect um, two horns. Well, there's kind of an exception. If it's a webbed um, horn, like a membrane, it is allowed for this to be connected. So these two horns are connected. That's okay because the membrane is elastic and it will move when he opens his mouth. So that's completely all right if you want to add a horn like that. Nothing bad will happen to him. So for example, tiny horns or huge ones, that's really your choice. And you can have a, a thick-headed dragon, like a much thicker head. Try to make your horns go like this, the gear. Or, I don't know, there's so many kinds of horns you can make that well, there's really no way to get them wrong. As long as you don't make them extremely large, you won't kill your dragon. So I will make that the nose. Here comes the nose. Don't ever do something like this and expect your character to be decent unless it's hollow or very thin, like very flat. It will look like this in the front. Because a huge horn is not useful. And less so for a dragon because dragons are already big, they have claws and fans and they can defend themselves even with their wings. So there's no need to give them huge um, chunks of horns. You can also add as little as you want, or together, or make like a crown of horns. That's also a, like a good option. It could be like a plunk, a plunk dragon. Oh, yeah, let's just have fun with your things. You can give them more spicier, more spicier. Like here, like, oof, there are so many, many kinds of dragons. If I could teach them all to you, I would. But I hope this video has given you an insight on how to draw horns and why, so you don't have to fear drawing them again. And another tip is have fun with it. Just have fun. Invent different kinds of horns, create different dragons, make them snow dragons, fire dragons, whatnot. And I really hope you had fun in this video, guys. More to come. Thank you. Bye-bye.